Hello guys. With the completion of Bad Buddy, I guess we all are still left with a hangover, however, we all have to move on to new BLs and luckily we got around 20 BLs to choose from currently. Some of you may be already watching all of them, still I am giving you the names of some which I deem worthy of a mention. So let's start. First, let's look at the ones which have completed airing, so you can binge watch them, and I have three Korean mini BLs to binge watch. The first is Tinted With You. A BL dealing with time travel to Joseon era, the concept is good, but I think with hardly 10 minutes episodes, if we remove the start and end credits, the story is not well developed, I think it could have been better. Still, I think it is okay to give it a try if you have around 90 minutes to spare. Second one is Behind Cut, another love triangle from Korea. I think it is seriously contending for the worst BL of this month, with the slow pacing and the bad editing. Well you can give it a try since we have watched almost all of the worst BL of 2021, why not start one in 2022 too. The third one is Color Rush 2, the sequel to Color Rush, with one of the leads changed. To be honest, I wanna say they tried to this version too. And looks like they'll have third season too, however, they need to work on the story a bit. After Korea, let's move to Vietnam, and we have Mr. Cinderella. Well Vietnamese series are kinda guilty pleasure for me, and I have been told I am too brutal on criticizing them, given they are on the early stage and the political scenario there so I wanna say they tried. A lot of the things don't make sense, however, it's available in YouTube and had completed its airing, so you can give it a try. Now time for a Japanese BL and we have K and Yaku, a love story between a Yakuza member and a detective. So far just two episodes aired, still I am finding it interesting. It is different than those regular high school style Japanese BL and in first episode itself the male lead showed his butt, I hope they'll give really good steamy scenes too. There are some BLs going on in Philippines also, most notable among them is the Rainbow Prince, I haven't watched it till now, so I can't say anything right now. You can watch it and let me know whether I should watch it or not. And finally, let's come home to Thailand and we got our hands full with BL in January. The first one is Paint With Love. It has already aired its ninth episode, and you can watch it if you haven't already. The good is Singto's acting, Tay Drovid's improved acting and comedy and some known face from TV Thunder, however, I didn't find the chemistry between the lead couple convincing even though they have already given bed scenes. The second couple of Yoon and Yacht had some chemistry in the first few episodes, however, they suffer from minimal screen time. The second one that's airing and gathering some interest is not me with Off Gun. It tackles the socio-political divide in Thailand and more than a BL it is a political action thriller. Out of six episodes aired till now, I liked the third episode the most, other episodes are okay till now, I hope things will improve. The third one that looks interesting is Something in My Room. The thing that is special is it is from the same production house as Lovely Writer with the same director. The pilot episode is not bad, and I am surprised by Supanut, he looked constipated and out of place in Oxygen the series, I know the role required him to look angry and depressed, which he failed miserably, however, here he is really good, maybe that's the difference of working under a good director. However I am all in for Plan Coup. He is camera friendly, good looking, can act well and is a good singer like most of the BL actors. The last one that's airing is You're My Sky, and the good thing about it is the cinematography, the shots are really taken well. The only problem is the main couple, the child actors were better than their older self, and so far they lacked chemistry. Still I think Soir is camera friendly. The nerdy couple is okay and the final sprinter couple is best when it comes to chemistry, however, their storyline is of love between a guy and his sister's boyfriend, so let's see how this cheating thing plays out. Similarly, there are Gen Y 2, Love Area Part 2, 
physical therapy which I am not interested in, though will watch after my holiday is over, around February. Now, there are some upcoming interesting ones and at first we have on Shante the series airing from this Friday. It looks interesting, however, I like the unofficial teaser than the official one. Still Force Book look good together and Book is a really good looking guy, hope it lives up to my expectation, though I am not expecting much from GMM TV. Next we have my ride the series, I don't wanna say much because I have a bias for fame Shaween, he is my bro and he is among the best actor we have, I will be watching it since he is there. And then there is Love Stage the series, Restarted the series, and many more which I will catch up if the reviews are good. That's all guys, which are the ones you are most excited about.